uh, I don't know how much snow we have, but uh, there's a decent amount of snow. Started giving them water in the dog bowl because that is an easy way to get the water. But here's the bad thing with that. You see how the birds step on the edges? If they have any poop on their feet that's gonna get in the water. It's the easiest way to get canker. I hate doing this, but I try to dump the water as much as I can and try to do that. But uh it's kind of like like a desperate move because the water started getting freezing so fast and in my water as I take them inside bring them outside if birds don't get to it pretty fast it started like you know getting frozen pretty fast so another way to avoid this thing is uh, you know how I have those uh, plastic ones over there it's like a where you can pour the water on the side it's hard to see with the top on it Let me try to see if i can remove the snow there you go but the water gets frozen in there and if you want to knock the water out from there the plastic breaks with this since it's metal it's pretty easy but it has the side effect but Here's another thing to people who are worried about like birds not getting water. You see how the birds are eating snow? That's exactly what wild birds and wild pigeons do. So if you don't really have water, they will still survive by eating the snow, which I don't really like. I still want them to have water. But uh, I might. What I'm going to do is, uh, I, I took one of the waterers inside, bring that back when it thaws out, and just go with that idea. There's still snow is still falling. I don't know how much we're going to get. We are going to get. time you don't want to throw corn on the snow because the snow is pretty deep and they would go just go and get buried in there they cannot see it Panthers over there the rollers are hesitant to come out oh, that one almost took a side flip it's beautiful to watch them sitting on the snow but again uh, not an ideal thing. Birds don't mind it. Was our first cancel for moments. That's a dominant opal kite. Red frost cancel, black frost cancel, opal laced kite, the little frost stencil, and illusions. So check in here. See, I want to get that door half open. That is a good way for some birds to get out. I cannot even open the door completely because the ground underneath has been frozen. There's a 
lot of snow over there. They don't mind it. This is one of my favorite uh, almond hens. She's a hen. She's a breeder too. So she's like two years old. She has like a nice body type. Gonna make this a quick, a short video because my hands are freezing. done a video in the past about that bird. This is a crested almond over here. Homer, he's uh, kind of blind in both eyes, but uh, you see on the neck, that was like he got attacked by uh, some creature like a raccoon or a possum or something. The neck was ripped and I kind of like you know, glued it back using super glue. And uh, He's fine, but that area, where the feather is growing like kind of weird, but the feathers are growing kind of weird, but he's still, uh, he's still in this loft all year round. He finds water, food, all those things, flies up there. It's one of those birds like, you don't want to get a close view of him. Right. It could be somebody's pet, you know, make a good pet for him. That's about it. But he did a, he had a mate for a while. He did mate up with one of the hens. He can still mate, you know. And here's that one almond hen I was talking about earlier. It's one of my favorite birds. Look at all the colors on her. She's a pretty bird. I think she's like a, last year, year before that. they want to the rollers don't seem to be too excited they all and the fantails on there I forget there's fantails in there too White bar, the white bar hen. They don't feel like coming out. They all are eating the snow. They like eating the snow. Because I think the snow has a little bit of salt in it and it's kind of like, uh, it has that, uh, some kind of like, you know, taste for them. They like eating the snow. happening in this loft. I'll go to the middle loft one more time and call it a day. Go inside and stay warm.
It's a young Andalusian over there. I mean, indigo. And here's a pied one too. If you look underneath of the beak, he got like a little bit of white, a couple of white feathers, like a beard. A young bird from this year. Very nice bird. I raised a two or three nice indigos this year. There's another indigo over here. So if this is an indigo and that is like an opal. Opal with the kite in it. Right, he came over there too. There's another indigo over there in the middle. It's an active fellow. Snow falling down, it's still coming down. I heard next week the weather is gonna warm up, like in the 40s and 50s. Uh, all the snow is gonna snow is gonna melt. So that is a good sign. Hopefully. Crested saddle over there. The waters are not really, all the fantails are not really coming out that much in the other loft. A young crested uh, Homer baby, and he's a squeaker. Getting he or she is getting mature. Change this water real quick and uh, go inside. They're still munching on the snow. I wonder if I really need to bring them water or not. Apparently, they like the snow much better. See that? You hear the chunk of snow over there. Well, that's it, folks. I hope you all are staying warm. Catch you later.